so often we are so we 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 want to work things out on our own and we don't just allow the universe god whoever it is that you pray to to reveal an answer and then be brave enough to go after it y'all are living the life that you dreamed of and I mean take yourself back to when you was young little boy little girl and you thought about like when I grow up I want to live this type of life are you living it like like really envision be honest with yourself is this the life that you envision for yourself or better yet how many of y'all are with the person, the man or the woman of your dreams. And I mean, she's the one, like, like he is the one. I wouldn't be with nobody else on planet earth. This is my ride or die. This is the love of my life. Or are you working in a career? Or are you at a job that you love to death? Like, yeah, I love going to work. I love working up early. I do whatever because I love what I do. I would actually do what I do for free. How many of y'all can say yes to any of those questions? And honestly, if you can't say yes to those questions, you are part of the norm. You are part of the majority. 99% of the people on planet Earth can't say yes to all of those questions. But, but here's, the, here's the crazy part. Most people just settle. Most people just, yo, you know what? I'm not working a job that I like. Actually, I can't stand my job, but it's an honest day's work. I got to get an honest day's pay, and I'm just going to keep doing it, and I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off. No, this ain't the life that I dream for myself, but what else am I going to do? Or I'm not necessarily with the person that I love, but, you know, he'll do or she'll do. Or, you know, I used to love her, but the love is gone, and now we kind of like roommates every now and then. You know, I get a little bit and you know, this is just life. This is the hand that life dealt me and I'm going to just roll. I'm going to just accept it. Why? That, that, that's really what this comes down. Why? Why do we accept the hand that we have been given? Why? Why not take the extra step and figure out what it is? What is it? What is the life that we're supposed to be living? Who is the person we're supposed to be with? What is the job or the career that I'm supposed to be doing with myself? Like, wh why? Why not take that extra step? And we've all heard those people who are like, go live your passion. You know, go, go work at a job that you love. If you work at a job that you love, you'll never work a day in your life. We've all heard that. I've heard that. And, but, but what if you, I mean, and, and I got to believe that most of y'all are just like me when somebody says, yo, you should be living your passion and you think, I don't know my passion or, or you, you, you should be working at a job that you love. I don't know what I love. Matter of fact, I love a lot of things. I love ice cream, but I don't want to be Ben or Jerry. Like, I, I don't know if I knew what I love, I would go out there and do it. Don't you think? We have all been in these situations before. But if you're anything like me, and trust me when I tell you, I have banged my head up against the wall several times in my adult life trying to get the answers to these questions. But the only thing different is I won't stop until I figure these answers out. And I'm asking you guys to do the same. But sometimes these answers are not revealed to you until you submit until you put it out there to the universe, to God, to whoever it is that you believe in this higher power that's bigger than ourselves. Sometimes you have to submit. And what I mean by submit is when you are looking for these answers that are greater than you, these answers that you can't figure out, like, just, let's just say career, when, you know, so people are like, yo, I just don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I love. Like, I love a lot of things. I don't, I'm asking you, submit. Come to peace with the fact that you don't know. Give it up. And I'm reading truly be at peace. Leave it alone. I don't know what I want to do, but I'm eager to find out.
but I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to let God answer my prayers. I'm going to let him answer the question that is plaguing me because I want to do something more with my life. I just don't know what it is. People do not get the answers because they don't ask the questions. And then you just got to leave it alone. It's biblical. It is biblical. Like, first and foremost, there's this quote that I love by Jack Canfield. He said, you're not given a dream unless you have the capacity to fulfill it. But what if you don't even know what your dream is? The Bible says, ask and ye shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Have you asked? Have you sought? Have you knocked and just said, what is it? And then let it, let it go. Submit. And I mean truly let it go. And wait for it to come back. But what if once it comes back, it's something so far out of your grasp, something that's so far beyond your wildest dreams, then what? What are you prepared to do with it? Are you going to be fearful? Are you going to be a shell shock? Like, oh my God, I can't see myself doing X, Y, and Z. When God reveals your gift, when he reveals your passion, when he reveals your calling, what are you prepared to do with it? I've been there. Like, I've been there. What if when you finally get the answer back, let's say you're a business owner, you got employees, you got clients, and what comes back to you is the thing that you're great at, the thing that you have done all along, the thing that is your true gift is teaching, educating, motivating. What if all of these things come back to you and they do not align with anything that you currently have going on? Are you prepared to now trust that this is what I'm supposed to do? I've been praying for an answer and I'm now ready to submit. And even though I can't see how the hell I'm going to be a motivational speaker because it has nothing to do with anything that I'm currently doing. I'm going to go for it anyway. Uh-huh. Think about that. But this is one of life's big dilemmas. So often, we are so we, we, we want to work things out on our own, and we don't just allow the universe, God, whoever it is that you pray to, to reveal an answer and then be brave enough to go after it. Something for you to think about. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.